M0 FXB Ham Tech, welcome to my channel. So thanks to my friend Derek, I am installing Snap, spelt S-N-A-P-D, onto my Raspberry Pi that's that I am then going to attempt to connect to my Kason Zello network radio and make some updates. So to do this, I've been sent a link and the first one I put in was, you know, once you click the terminal on your Raspberry Pi, which is just at the top here, and we're using VNC to, to sort of check, to use our Raspberry Pi without having to plug in a HDMI monitor and keyboard. I can just use my PC, my Windows PC, and it's, that's, that's actually working really well, as you can see there, and control it in the normal way. So all I did was, once I hit the enter just after where it says Pi Ham, I just put in sudo apt update space, hit enter. Then after that finished, sudo apt install snapd, as you can see. So there, just follow these commands one line at a time I'm doing. And it's just finished the second line. Now I'm gonna put in the reboot command. So if we just tap here, we're putting sudo space reboot. Hit enter. Now remember, I am not a Linux person. You know, I'm, my, I'm not an anything person. All of my videos are learnt from the point of view that I know nothing. Uh, that is literally how I do all my videos. So we've just done that. Let's let that reboot. Then we're gonna follow, what was the next command? Let's have a look. Once it logs back in, we're gonna put in the one that's called sudo snap install core. So this program on the right hand side, you can Google it, it's called Real VNC, and it basically uses an IP address to log into your your Raspberry Pi, which you would know what the IP address is when you when you set the thing up. So uh, ignore these um, these warnings from HamPi, I need to get them removed uh, once I uh, message the developer. Just just right, let's go back into open a terminal, so that's the top at the top there, and then let's put in that other command which we said was sudo snap install core. So sudo, um, this time you do spell snap properly, install core. Okay, and then we're gonna hit enter. Download snap core it says. See if I can open this up there. There you are. You can see that it's doing it. I need a new power supply for my Raspberry Pi. Well, I've got one, I just need to find it. Next one that seems to have completed is the one we, that it wouldn't accept earlier. So let's try it sudo um let's get it right sudo snap install and then s c r c p y and when i did this last time it just went into some sort of error that seems to be working and then um i'll see if i can connect into the the network radio in a sec. So you can see my budget device, the K-Sun there. And you can communicate with it using Total Control and Visor, which works a lot better. There is an install to where you, where you can put in SCR CPY and the screen on the radio appears on your, you know, on your screen of your computer, which is cool. But it just didn't work for me, so my friend Derek has sent me a couple of commands which you've seen in this video. It's doing its thing. Everything seems to be working. Right, it's got to the end. Now let's see if we can uh, find my ADB device. So what you do, you go sudo. I wrote all these commands down. Let me have a look now. Hey, no, your ADB devices. So you got ADB devices. Just this tells you, this will tell me if I'm definitely con connected. 
So if not, last time I just rebooted it. Right, it is there. And maybe I should reboot anyway, but let's just put in the word um, SCRCPY and see what happens. SCRCPY. And if that works, the screen of Zello is meant to appear. Now, what's it saying here? Uh, cannot preload. Yeah, so it hasn't w worked yet, but it's given me some more commands and I'll show it to my friend. It's still trying. Ah, it worked. <laughs> so there you are. So let's see if we can just PTT. Yeah, we can. I just heard it beep. So thanks, Derek. And um, I shall be forwarding this video onto YouTube so that other people that have had problems loading Scrappy can do it and we can look, we can do our menu, we can go status, change it to available, we can go back, uh, we can, let's, uh, let's just go, if I press, I've not used it as you can tell, so if I just try and escape out of this all together and go to settings, I'm just going to push it on my radio a minute and see if we still see that, yeah. So the problem I'm having now is the apps that I've installed here are not showing up. I don't think I can drop and drag apps into this, but I'm gonna, I don't think I can, but I'm gonna try whatever. So let's just go to my downloads. If there are many, uh, we'll choose one that I did earlier. So just like Blue Peter, peanut for ham, we'll drag it onto the screen. No, that's not going to work. But anyway, you know, wishful thinking. So thanks. We've got the screen working. Hit back to Zello. And we can select a channel. And, and there you are. And, and Visor does it very well as well. I would say the screen quality looks very similar. Uh, uh, this is probably, I would say, probably a bit sharper. And then we're scrolling up there. So Scrappy worked. Bye for now, 7-3.